Well, Mike, what do you say to a team after something like that? Well, you know, the, the, uh, the thing you start looking at right away is, you know, we, we just got to come back. Everybody's got to do the right thing in the next 48 hours before we get back together again. And then we got to have a great week of practice. We obviously have uh, some shortcomings that we've got to work to get better at. And uh, if we do that, I think we could still have a good football team. Right? You know, they obviously they came to the front today, and uh, the other team just played just about flawless football on offense, and we couldn't match it. You know, that that was uh, really the best way to describe it. How concerned are you about the well, you know, until we fix it, there's a major concern. You know, until we, you know, get in better position, tackle better, make some plays, you know, that that quarterback uh, really, really made some unbelievable escape plays, bot time, and just executed so well that, uh, you know, we, uh, we have a lot to look at to work to get better. That's a good way to put it. You talked about shortcomings, Mike. What are some of the well, you know, it's we, we didn't we I don't think we were in great position uh, to make plays. I don't think we tackled very well. Uh, I don't think we took advantage of some offer opportunities to, you know, get them off the field. You know that I think the thing started early in the game when we had had them third and fourteen, and we bust a coverage and they throw the ball deep down the middle of the field, just kind of a prayer, and nobody from our team is there. So. I think it just started off kind of like that and got worse. Do you regret it all not scrimmaging? You guys had a lot of trouble tackling, and you really haven't tackled since April. Yeah, you know, it's that's where you're. I don't know. You know, when you have so many guys hurt, the guys that are going to be playing in the games aren't tackling anyway because they're not practicing. So you're kind of caught in there uh, a little bit. Uh, we've never scrimmaged a lot, so. Always stuff to examine later, you know. Now we have to go forward with it all. You bring back uh, Murphy, Zimmerman, and Reynolds. How surprised were you about how, how bad some of those guys got beat today? Well, you know, they, get, they got isolated. And, uh, it, you know, before I say too much about what happened, I'm going to look at the film. Uh, you know, we obviously – Gave up lots of big plays today, and that was a, another key issue. Uh, not keeping the quarterback uh, contained and then giving up big plays, kind of the story. Was it mental stuff, or were you guys doing things mechanically wrong? Like, what did you see on the sideline? You know, I, th I think that uh, mechanically, I guess, you know, tackling is an issue there. Uh, and then as far as mental busting some stuff, I know there was a, sh there was a good share of that, but I don't, I don't know how much uh, before I look at the film. I think it was pretty good in the right. So don't you have to sometimes just tip your hat to them or like I, you were doing this with that's, that's what I tried to do a little bit ago. Ken, I really think he's a good player. I mean, his quickness was outstanding, and he just froze our guys and, and – uh, and then eluded him, and sometimes two or three at a time. I thought he was really good, really good player, and kept things alive and made some throws on the run that were – and they made some great, you know, some of those catches that were, like, you got to be kidding me kind of catches. Were you surprised <laughs> at how good he was? Um, I didn't really know that much about him. He hasn't been like a full, full-time guy, but I knew he was, he was also, I think – uh, touted as like a last year freshman All American, so he'd had he's done some good stuff, and they've had a, you know, the thing we know about Eastern that's a good football team and a good program. They've been very good for a long time. Uh, you know, I was mentioning all along that they they had last year and the year before took the Huskies and Cougars to the wire and didn't win, but uh, very very capable team. That's, the program's been in place. I think Bo's been the head coach for six years and been there for 
10, so he's, do, he's do, doing an outstanding job. Like 46 points, 30 first downs, 500 and some yards total offense. You couldn't have done a whole lot better offensively, could you? You know, uh, that's where we couldn't match him, though. You know, we, we squandered some a couple of drives in the first half that I didn't feel good about when that game, you know, maybe we could have made a better statement. Uh, uh, second half, no, though. You know, I think we scored every time we had the ball, and it, you can't do any better than that unless you do it faster. And the way that game was going, it was who had the ball last was going to win it. I don't think they I – I only think we had one stop in the game. And I think that that was when that number three wasn't planned. <laughs> yeah. Storm said that he kept waiting for the defense to make a stop. He just kept thinking it was going to happen. Were you thinking the same thing on the side? Yeah, absolutely. You know, and, I, and the one thing I'll give all of our kids credit for, you know, I, I know that uh, that is a, a, a bad loss and all that. I, I do appreciate they never quit. They kept trying to make plays. That other team made more plays offensively. But, uh, you know, we came back even with a couple of nice pass plays at the end and a shot at a 50-yard field goal to send it into overtime. I thought we just kept playing. I think that can all bode well for the Beavers if we can just work on and improve some of the shortcomings that we showed today. Two years ago, you guys couldn't recover from the equivalent of this loss. Right. Is it going to be different now? Well, we can only prove that, Lindsay. I can't, I can't really sit here and pound the table about anything until we win another game. You know, So we'll try to do that next week. I do think that uh, there's enough here with this group uh, that, that we're, we're going to be, we're definitely going to be better than this today. Mike, are the, are the feelings the same or are they different from two years ago? I don't know yet, Stephen. That's a good question. Uh, I know that there's bitter disappointment, but, uh, you know, I think we also have some good maturity here. And uh, by the time we get going again, they'll be all right. Did you hear Rashad's speech in the locker room or were mm -hmm. you gone? I was gone. Uh, what's wrong with Keith Postel? He, he has a – didn't I tell you guys that? No. No. We were all surprised when McMullen – Oh, yeah, he's got a sprained ankle. He's had it. He hasn't punted for about a week. And uh, he did it playing catch. At practice? It, it, no, it was actually time off. Uh, I think it was Sunday a week ago. So. Mike, what did you like about Sean? Oh, I thought he just, I thought he was very efficient. I don't know what his numbers were, but they were, seemed like they were pretty good. And uh, I thought he made good choices. And, and uh, spread the ball around pretty good. Mike, with what you've seen on film in the past with some of these spread offensive teams, what do you think is the real main concern for you guys as a unit? You guys seem to struggle against these kind of teams. Well, it's, it's, uh, it's obviously the space, right? You know, you gotta, uh, you've got to be able to make some plays, whether it's pass defense uh, or run defense. You've got to be able to make a tackle, make a play in space. And a lot of times, it's one on one. And, uh, and then the other thing is quarterbacks always provide an edge. And this guy today was terrific. Last year, the defense came out against a very good Wisconsin team and played maybe the best game of your career here. How, like, how do we go from such a dramatic difference? Is it do you guys miss Poyer and those DTs that much and DJ not being out there? Or? Uh, I don't know quite yet what to say to that. I don't, I don't th think so. I think the I thought the defensive tackles actually made some plays today that I was impressed with. So I don't want to judge them too much right now without looking at the game film. And then, uh, yes, we miss DJ. There's no doubt about it. You know, we're not very deep. We're playing uh, younger, newer players there. But that's no I'm, – I'm not excusing uh, anything for that. But uh, – uh, Do you think you guys – Overlook this, you know? I don't. I don't. I, you know, I, I think that that would kind of be a discredit to that kid playing quarterback for them and all the plays that they made. And then, uh, you know, there were a, a, 
again, a lot of parts of our game today that were pretty much on the, on the high level of play. So I don't, I don't think that that's it. Wait, is Brandon OK? We can just get the win I don't know. I haven't heard anything. I hope that that, that was it. I, th I think it was he got hit in the back. But. Any injuries you do know about? No. No, Hope Isaac's back. Did we talk about that? No, you, I mean, all week you said you thought he was going to play. Yeah. Well, so he, I thought he was going to play until the pregame warm-up. He told me at, at the, in the locker room after the pregame warm-up, he didn't feel quite right, so we pulled him. Still a bruise, just a really bad bruise? Strain. Strain knee. Mm -hmm. Do you feel okay about how others filled in for him, though? Yeah, you know, right right now talking to you, I do. When I watch the film, I may not, but I do right now. It looked pretty good. You know, we didn't run the ball very well, so I'll have to tell you more about that tomorrow night. You guys were high on the tight ends through fall camp. Um, they obviously looked good today. Uh, you know, how do you, uh, how do you feel about that? I'm excited about where we can still go with that group. It, that part does look good, right? Uh, so uh, it, it's, a, it's a good group. We've got to keep them healthy and keep them growing. Mike, did you make any schematic changes defensively at halftime, or were you guys just talking about the little things, finishing tackles, not going coverages? Like you know, I was with the offensive coaches most of the time, so I know, I know Mark and the group were diligently going over some things to give to the players. And then, uh, and then by the time I got in there, we were going out. Oh, I, I don't think we sustained blocks quite long enough. You know, we were, I think we were on the right people, but we didn't, we didn't stay on blocks as well as we could have uh, at times. Coach, were you calling the play today? Nice door combination? Mm, I did. All right, thanks, guys. All right, thank you. Coaching question, we got one to do.